Welcome, welcome, welcome to another DJ Wilson STEM video. This video is part three on just using some cool things in Google SketchUp to design a home. In the previous video, I showed you how to use a push-pull tool, how to make textures and paint walls and things like that. So this time, what we're going to do is I'm going to show you how to do some cool stuff to your exterior of your home. So you know how some homes... The bottom of the home is brick, and then you have the top of the home is siding. So in order to do that, what you have to do is you have to use your line tool, right? And then you're going to need to like draw a line. Let's do a line from there to there, there, there. Okay. Now, typically, the bottom of the house is brick and the top is siding. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do paint the bottom brick. And then I can choose this top part for siding, okay? So those that's one uh, additional cool thing that you can do when you are designing your home. I didn't do this side over here because I, hey, I don't want to waste that time just to repeat something that I just showed you how to do. But let's do this. So just say if you want to draw a driveway in your home. Well, we already drew a, a rectangles first and you can, if you want to draw freehanded, you can you by using like the line tool. But for me, that's not one of my strong suits. So I am going to draw using the rectangle. Do that. All right. Now I'm going to go do some asphalt. Asphalt is uh, the roadway. And I can grab this and put that right there. And now you have a driveway. Now just say, you know what, I'm looking at this and I want my driveway to be a little bit longer. Well, obviously you can do that um, by uh, clicking here and you can, um, you can click on a scaling and then you can grab this and just make that longer. Oops, I actually connected it to my house. I didn't want to do that, but okay. but that is how you would make the driveway longer or you could make it wider you know maybe a two car a, a two car driveway or something along those lines of however you wanted to do that all right um i think that's what i'm going to show you in this video the next video i'm going to do is i'm going to show you some real cool stuff or well, part four is going to be on using the 3d warehouse but also um import uh, rotating some different things and uh, uh, using that rotation tool, because that's going to be something that's going to be really important for us to know how to do. All right. Again, thanks for watching. And uh, hey, remember, hashtag STEM is cool. STEM is fun. All right. Peace out.